We start with the Cleveland Cavs, who have been slumping as of late. Now, at, at this moment, they are third in the Eastern Conference, but they have a, had a devastating loss over the weekend to the OKC Thunder, losing 148 to 124. Actually, the Cavs are really one of the worst defensive teams in the NBA this season, Keisha. So I ask you, there is no question that this team is in trouble right now, but when we look into our crystal ball, can the Cavs actually rebound and make it to the NBA Finals this year? Mike, Cleveland is a hot mess right now, and what's happening is a lot of this, finger pointing. And they recently had a team meeting, and they just pointed fingers. Kevin Love seemingly got the brunt of it. And if the Cavs want to even have uh, a chance of making it out of the East, because it, that's not even a lock anymore, given the way, the way that they're playing right now, they need to stop pointing fingers at each other, everybody take responsibility for their actions and then use that energy to figure out how to come together and do this. And I think one of the things that I could be problematic is that the Cavaliers have always, well at least while LeBron has been back on the team for this uh, stint, that they've operated under the philosophy philosophy that because we have LeBron, everything's going to be all right. But there's simple mathematics here. LeBron is one person. He cannot successfully beat five people. And even though his talents are otherworldly and you can maybe even count him as two, two and a half players, it's still less than five. And it's not going it, to, he can't get it done in a seven game series by himself against five people. So they, Everybody's talking about how LeBron can turn it on, but what about the rest of his, his cast? J.R. Smith is residing in Strugglesville right now. He's averaging seven points per game as a starter. Isaiah Thomas, he's getting himself acclimated into the lineup. Jay Crowder, I, I haven't really seen him be the player that he was in Boston, and I'm really looking for a turnaround from him. And then I just think that... They have to play defense. They have to play defense. Their defense is terrible. I could put up a double-double against this defense. I'm pretty certain of it. I saw the game against the OKC Thunder, and what was concerning was that they, the body language of the Cavs, they just looked uninspired. They just looked lost, confused. LeBron looked dejected. He didn't even finish the game. And that was where he had a chance to, to reach 30,000 points and he made it to 18. So have shown the ability to pull itself together and get on a nice hot streak. They had a nice win streak going at one point this season. So they can turn around, but it's really going to take a concerted effort on everybody and not just relying on LeBron James. Yeah, I think that this function that they have, I think the way that it shows is that I understand that some of the players on the team have an issue with what happened with Kevin Love, who sort of called in sick, if you will. I have no issue with this team having a team meeting, calling out one of their players, but my my take on this is that this, that shouldn't have been leaked to the media. They should have been able to keep that in-house. I think one of the things that's going to happen here, obviously the guy who's taking a lot of the criticism has been Teron Liu, and I don't necessarily think that's fair because he's had a lot on his plate ever since he's tried to come in and really clean up David Blatt's mess, and you know the Cavs have problems when even David Blatt, I think he posted some cryptic tweet recently uh, taking a shot at the Cavaliers. When it comes down to it, I think that this team will be able to regroup. Let's face it, they are still in the Eastern Conference, which gives them a much easier shot to go ahead and represent the East and face off with whoever it might be, most likely the Cleveland uh, or the Golden State Warriors. So I think when it comes down to it, that the Cavs will wind up winning the Eastern Conference. It's not going to be easy, and they have a lot of work cut out for themselves. And right now it doesn't look good, but I think in the next two to three months they will find a way to bounce back. I'd be interested in to see what the Cavs do before the, the trade deadline that's coming up and see if they can really get some pieces to help push them over the edge because the teams are shortening the gap. Absolutely.